And it's on the crack. And listen, Lincoln Rally today discussed how they will utilize Deuce Robinson. He also talked about uh, the spring practice today. Spring practice had a competitive scrimmage um, that took place today. Listen, these guys are going back and forth. We're going to give you Lincoln Rally's exact words. And listen, also today, USC was extremely active today. They have multiple recruits, multiple coaches on campus. We're going to talk about it. Let's take a look at this real quick, this information. It's a beautiful day today. You guys know where you can find me. It's going to be USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Let's take a look at this information. Let's go. We get into the deuce comments and the scrimmage comments. We're going to talk about, real briefly, USC had a lot of activity. This guy here, you see standing here, six foot five, 270 pound, out of Central Catholic High School, Modesto, California, 2024 prospect, um, number 18 offensive tackle overall, and uh, the number 19 player in the state of California. And look, man, his name is Manasti uh, it Itty. I don't want to mess his name up, but as you see here, there's quite a bit of activity going on. And uh, listen, USC, I told you guys the domino effect is here. It's on and popping. It's on and cracking. And this was this was in the beginning of practice. Everything started. As you see here, 2026 star D. Lyman, uh, Jaquin Stewart as well. He came from New Orleans. He was on the sideline. So it was go time today. It is on and popping. It's on and cracking. Listen, the dominoes are getting ready to fall. All right, and it was so much activity that you, uh, Brittany Thacker, you guys remember, she came over from Mississippi State, and uh, she's going to help out in the recruiting department, but she says, she put out this tweet that, look, elite high school coaches and top recruits everywhere I look, today is going to be a good day. Listen, this is what's going on with USC right now, and I'm telling you, uh, that Deuce Robinson commitment, it created a humongous, incredible, incredible uh, domino effect. So you have recruits all over the place, man, multiple recruits. You even had uh, uh, his last name is Stone, the safety from LSU. He's actually committed to LSU. He made his way to USC as well. And uh, look, man, it's go time. It's on and popping. Let's talk about uh, Deuce and let's talk about the scrimmage. And so here it is here. Lincoln Riley had a press conference today, and uh, he described how the battle was going with the scrimmage. But here's his exact words. He said, I will say on both sides, he said, Referring to the offense and the defense, he said, we're eight practices in. Both sides have had one day where they were pretty dominant. The other six have been back and forth. Uh, he said, we just finished one today, and uh, we got to scrimmage a little bit today. And so he talked about the ones and the twos. And he also said this. He said, he said it feels we're a little bit stronger, just a little bit more depth. He says, when you put the twos, he says, uh, and we don't really know what the twos are. You don't see a drop off. I mean, it, it, it is incredible. And we talked about this. This is one of the things uh, that I mentioned back in my past videos that the depth was really, really um, a concern and an issue. And as a result, you've seen USC just, just really just fall off, uh, look like a totally different team in the beginning of the season. And so he mentioned, Lincoln Riley mentioned, he said, look, he said the defense started off strong. He said then the offense actually came and started doing their thing. But then he said the defense actually finished up and won it. And so, look, man, I, I, I think this thing is really telling. It, it's shaping up. It's so competitive right now. These guys are absolutely playing some football. And so you see here, and that's Marshawn Lloyd. Absolutely, he's going in for a touchdown. But, but the Lincoln Riley, his other comments, he said this. He said, there's just more good players on the field. He said, some of the players we brought back, are a little more physical, develop, physically developed, and a little bit stronger. So look, man, I, you know, like I told you guys before, this is not hype. One person, they, uh, I, I see where they put in there that, look, it's the hype. But look, this is real. This thing is real. And uh, look, I told you guys to jump on board. The key's going to be thrown away. 
USC has it on and popping, on and cracking. They scrimmage today. It's a back and forth. It's a tug of war. It's go time. And look, I'm going to give you guys some inside information. I know somebody that actually was at another practice, another school. Let me just say, Oklahoma. They say USC looks totally different. USC defense looks bigger than them. USC defense looks stronger than them. Overall, their team just looks strong. Their team looks stronger. That is inside information for somebody else who was on the sideline uh, doing Oklahoma. And this is no shade on them, but I'm just putting the information out there just to let you guys know that USC is really developing a powerhouse team right now. And their players that they brought in, as Lincoln stated, are serious business. All right, so here's Deuce, man. So Deuce talked about, well, uh, uh, excuse me, Lincoln Riley talked about Deuce Robinson, how they will utilize him. And you know when I brought the video to you guys the other day, I said Deuce Robinson is a receiver in a tight end's body. And so they asked the question today. He said this. He says, I don't, this is Lincoln Riley. He says, I don't see him strictly as a tight end, which we already knew. He says this. He says, uh, we will utilize him, line him up, in a variety of ways in the offense. I mean, this guy is going to be explosive. Can you imagine him uh, outside, you know, Zachary Branch, Jacoby Lane, you got Deuce Robinson, Makai Lemon, you got, uh, of course, the other receivers that we got. But listen, can you imagine him? He's going to be a matchup nightmare. And so they asked him also, they asked Lincoln Riley about Deuce Robinson and him possibly being drafted in the major leagues. He said, look, it's a great possibility. We, we're aware of that. Um, but he basically said, look, regardless, regardless of what happens with that, um, they still plan, he still plans to play football there. And uh, look, and they asked him about Kyler Murray. Lincoln Riley's been in this situation with Kyler Murray as well. He said, and it worked. And so, look, you guys already know the Heisman Trophy winner Kyler Murray ended up not ever even playing baseball. Uh, he ended up going and pursuing football. But it's a similar situation. And so the way Lincoln Riley addressed it, which is, you know, incredibly genius, he said this. He said, you know, when you're talking about baseball, he said there are two kinds of knowns right now. He said, one, he's going to play football at USC. Then he says, two, baseball is going to be in his future, which is really exciting. So he didn't dismiss the baseball factor, but he did say that, look, he's going to do both and can do both. And look, it can work. So, man, look, you guys hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think. It's, it's an exciting time at USC right now. And look, uh, you got dudes going on. You got the, the players from all over the country going on right now, coming to USC. And then you got a strong spring practice. It's go time. It's only popping. It's only cracking. All right, so that is Lincoln Rally in his own words. Man, listen, he said it's a back and forth. It's a battle. And look, man, it's straight up go time. You see what he said also, as well as, well, what he's going to do with Deuce Robinson, man. And so, look, man, it is some exciting things going on with USC. And listen, I, w I also failed to mention um, nickelback position. He did address that. He did say this. He said that uh, Jalen and uh, Latrell McCutcheon, those two guys have been emerging as the starting nickelback when asked about that. So, look, man, you guys hit me. Is that a surprise to you guys? Latrell McCutcheon, you know, he started off that way last year. And so, look, these are the comments that are coming from Leakin. He is the head ball coach. So, look, we got to take him for his word, man. So, look, you guys hit me in the comment section. You tell me what you think. It's go time. It's on and popping. It's on and cracking. Listen, you guys know where you can find me. It's going to be USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Until later on, man, listen, everybody stay blessed. Fight on, fight on, fight on.